Here we go again. We're going to cook some ribs today uh, on our Chicken Master Grill. This is the Rib Pro here. This is uh, uh, the model that we got for the homeowner. And uh, today we're going to cook three racks of ribs and some potatoes and onions. We got a customer up right today from uh, Chicago. We figure we're going to feed some good ribs to him off of uh, the Chicken Master uh, rotary grill here. We're going to load the baskets here, and we're going to get it right on there. The, the, the unit's already running at uh, 420 degrees. Just about right. Uh, we want it a little bit hot uh, before we put the ribs on. And once we get the ribs in, it's going to cool right down. Get them in the basket here. And then we're going to flip it over here, and we're going to cook some uh, potatoes today on the other side and another rack of ribs. We have uh, dinner for six today. And, uh, basically we're going to get this on here and we're going to set the controls. We're going to get the thing running at 350 degrees. Uh, I got these potatoes and onions already seasoned up, ready to go on here. So we're going to have a little dinner. We got some macaroni salad going with it today. Already in the fridge, cooling down. I'm going to throw this on. It's running at 400 right now. And uh, I'm going to hold these down just as tight as you can get them. So don't get anything loose on there. Uh, but, but as soon as we get this uh, cold food on here, it's going to cool right down about 350 degrees. And we're going to, slow, we're going to work on maintaining that temperature. Got to have the power on her. She's not going to spin, guys. Everything looks here secure. Loaded right up. Got about uh, 10 pounds of ribs here. Probably three or four pounds of potatoes spinning on there. I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna close this thing up and I'm gonna leave her closed for about the next hour and a half and we're gonna come back and you're gonna see what this stuff comes out like. Thanks, Joe. Did you get 